Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be showing you all my eyeshadow palette collection. Now, if you've been following me for a while or have recently looked through my everything makeup and beauty playlist here on my channel, you would have known that I have filmed various makeup collection type videos over the years, but I've never actually sat down and did like a dedicated video on just my like eyeshadow and eyeshadow palette collection. And so I thought I would do that for you guys today. I thought this would be kind of a fun, different type of makeup collection type video to do because one of my favorite makeup products is eyeshadows and I'm just such a sucker when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. And I feel like I have a pretty decent collection, so yeah, I thought this would be a great video to do for you guys today. I'm super excited. So I do have palettes that I am no longer using because they're expired, or maybe are just not the best quality. <laughs> But I still have them in my collection and have kept them through the years because I feel like they're collection worthy, whether they're Disney or they were just one of my favorite palettes at the time. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get right on into this video. So if you would like to see all of my eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes in my collection, then just keep on watching. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the palettes that are expired, that I no longer use, and I just keep them just for collection purposes. I'm trying to pick them all up, but it's a little hard. Oh, one of them fell, but here's just kind of like an overview of all of those palettes right there. So I guess I'll just start up at the top and work my way down in no particular order. So the first couple mini quad palettes that we have on top are these right here. These are both from MAC Cosmetics. This was from like their Cinderella collection back when the like newer people version of Cinderella came out. I think that was back in like 2013. And this was one of my all time favorite eyeshadow quads palettes, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's not really a quad because it comes with six eyeshadows but I absolutely loved these eyeshadows like just kind of like a basic natural nude palette and then you do have like this darker color right here but like these eyeshadows were just so pretty so pigmented great quality and I, I just absolutely loved this little mini palette and I have kept it for years or used it for years even like past when it was expired I know gross but like I just loved it that much I just had such a hard time giving it up so yeah, there was no way I was getting rid of this. The second one is this one right here, and this is, as you can tell, from the Maleficent Sleeping Beauty collection back when the first Maleficent movie came out. I don't even remember what year that was. So that's what this little quad looks like right here. And here are the colors um, that come in this one. These eyeshadows were art. They're pretty good quality. I definitely have not used this quad as much, uh, especially if you want to compare it to the Cinderella one I just showed you guys. And I don't know why I didn't use this one. Maybe it's just because it has like the mainly darker colors and then just like the pop of that like gold. I don't know. I just didn't find myself reaching for those colors very often. But of course, it's Disney. I had to keep it in my collection. Oh, and side note, all of these palettes that I'm going to be showing you guys, I more than likely already have like either like a makeup tutorial using it or a get ready with me, uh, like swatches, first impressions videos. You can find all of those in the everything makeup and beauty playlist on my channel. I'll try to like put it on the screen or link it down below or something like that. But word of warning, a lot of them are very old and the quality's really bad. I'm really awkward. Oh my gosh, I cringe just even thinking about those videos. So just word of warning when you're watching those, please don't make fun of me too much. Like I get it, like I'm awkward and weird in those videos. I'm well aware, but they're still on my channel if you want to check them out. The next uh, little palette that I have on top is this one right here. This one is actually pretty new. Um, I think all of my videos, this palette, are from this year. I think I got this palette earlier this year. Um, and then this is just a Cinderella palette from Hot Topic. And what really got me with this palette is just the packaging. Like, it's just so cute how you have, like, this collage of Cinderella and different, like, scenes from the movie and things like that. Cinderella definitely is one of my favorites. And so when I saw this on Hot Topic's website, I just had to get it. Hot Topic has a ton of Disney palettes on their website. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I was posting on my story a long time ago asking you guys, should I get those palettes and do like dedicated videos on those like I did with the Cinderella ones. And I think a lot of you were saying yes, and I was going to 
buy all of those palettes like once I like saved up the money to get a, get them all. But one of you actually commented on one of my videos. It might have been on one of the Cinderella ones that I did and they you made a good point. I apologize I don't remember your like YouTube account name but you made a really good point and you said that all of the palettes that Hot Topic has, their Disney palettes, they all are the same or like they have the same colors and I'm assuming coming from Hot Topic, I'm assuming they're coming from the same manufacturer, so they're probably gonna be the same quality. So she made a really good point that, yeah, like you're buying all these different palettes, like they have different themes, like de depending on the movie and different packaging and they're really cute, but you're kind of buying the same palette over and over again. So when she said that, my mind was blown. I was like, holy shit, you're right. <laughs> so I never ended up buying those. Like. I might go back in the future if I have some extra spending money and I feel like going shopping, just like every day, let's be honest. I might because some of them were really cute, like the packaging, like the one that comes to mind immediately was the Snow White one. So yeah, I apologize. I never followed back up on my Instagram story. I'm awful at posting on Instagram. I apologize. I need to get better at it. Anyways, let's get back to the palettes that we do have. So here's just a uh, real quick, just kind of a look into this palette right here. This one, I don't believe is expired yet. I don't even see like the little expiration date on here, but I ended up just putting this in like my collection pile early just because the eyeshadows in this palette are just not the best quality. I mean, it's like, what can you expect? You're getting it from Hot Topic and Hot Topic isn't like a cosmetics brand. Like I said, the packaging is what really got me with this palette and like that's the main reason I wanted it was for collection purposes. Next, I have a couple uh, palettes from Solo Look Cosmetics. Solo Look Cosmetics, I found a few years ago, I think I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw an ad and it was actually for this, I'm pretty sure it was this palette right here. They were talking about launching this palette and I love Dirty Dancing. Like it is a classic movie. If you haven't watched it, you need to. It is an older movie, but even if you're someone that's not into older movies, like don't knock it until you try it. Like it's a really great movie. Um, so yeah, when I saw like an ad about this palette, I immediately went to their website. I ended up, I think I actually ended up pre-ordering this palette because I was so excited about it. And that's how I heard about Solo Look Cosmetics and that's what made me purchase the next palette. So first, let's go over the Dirty Dancing one right here. So it does have like this little sleeve right here, which I thought was kind of cute. It kind of reminded me of like a VHS box. And here's what the actual palette looks like. So there's the front of it. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then here's the back of it right here, the iconic dance move in that movie and then here are um all of the eyeshadow colors that you get in here I think this only comes with the four eyeshadows and then the one in the middle is supposed to be like a blush or something and then it does come with a liquid lipstick I have not used this palette since I filmed like the dedicated videos for it. But if I'm remembering correctly, the eyeshadows weren't like bad quality. I'm just pretty sure I ended up putting this like directly into like my collector's pile because just like the colors that come with it, I knew I wasn't gonna be reaching for it that often. I mean, it's not like a really everyday palette you'd reach for. Like, come on, it has like black, gray, red, and purple. Like those aren't really everyday wearable eyeshadows. And like the blush is just kind of like a weird color. Is it even a blush? Is it a highlighter? Maybe it's a highlighter. I don't really know. And so yeah, just another palette like I knew I just needed in my collection and I'm so happy that I have it. So the next Solo Look Cosmetics palette is this one right here from the movie Grease and this is a specific uh, themed pink ladies palette. So kind of the same packaging as the Dirty Dancing one. And then here is what the front of the palette looks like right here. And then here, here's the back of it. So you have all of the pink ladies and it also has their names. And then here is what the palette looks like. So this comes with all eyeshadows. This palette, I guess compared to the Dirty Dancing one I just showed you guys, this one I got a ton of uses out of. I love the colors that come in here. Like they're great quality, wearable. The only downside to this palette is it does come with all shimmers. That's kind of the only downside to this palette on why I haven't used it as much as compared to like some of the other eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection, but I do like the eyeshadows that come in this palette and I have used this palette quite a bit. The next palette I have in my little collecting pile is this one right here. 
And this one is from Tarte Cosmetics, and this is the collaboration with Graveyard Girl or Bunny here on YouTube. And this is the Swamp Queen palette. Now, I decided to keep this palette because this was hands down my favorite palette in my entire collection. And to be perfectly honest, if it wasn't as old as it was, it probably still would be my favorite palette. So here's just what it looks like right here. So you do have the nine eyeshadows over here and then you have your face colors, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And just everything in this palette is just absolutely amazing. Great pigmentation, they blend beautifully. Like every single color in here is just absolutely beautiful. And this is another palette that I have used like way past its expiration date because I'm just, oh my gosh, I was so obsessed with it back in the day. And I'm not gonna lie, there's still some days where like I'll look back into like my little like collecting pile of eyeshadows that I don't use anymore and I'll see this palette and I'm just like, you know what, maybe I should just use it. But I always stop myself because I'm like trying to be better about, you know, taking care of my skin and, you know, getting rid of makeup that's old or expired or at least not using. And now the rest of the eyeshadows that are in my little like collecting pile or of expired makeup uh, are all Disney related. So this one right here is another Hot Topic palette that I got a while ago and this is a Beauty and the Beast one. Um, this is the Tale as Old as Time eyeshadow collection and it's so cute. Being Beauty and the Beast, it was very fitting to make the packaging like a book and it opens like a book as well. So you open it like that. You do have a mirror on this side and then you have all of the eyeshadows on this side. And this is another palette very similar to the Cinderella one from Hot Topic. I did film like videos on it and everything like that so those are still up on my channel but this was a one and done palette for me. The eyeshadows in here were just not the best quality. But again it's from Hot Topic. They're not a cosmetics brand so can you really expect much from them? Not really. The remaining Disney palettes are all from Walgreens. I'll try to like run through them real quickly. Now these are like my OG palettes. Like these are probably like one of the first eyeshadow palettes that I've ever had before, I guess, at least ever like filmed videos on. So this first one right here is um, a Sleeping Beauty collection. This is the Good vs. Evil Beauty book. And these are all have the same layout, so that's why I said I'll kind of just go through these very quickly. Um, so this one looks like this. So you have the um, eyeshadows and then you also have some lip lip colors and an eyeliner mirror over here so up here is kind of the good side kind of more like natural shades and then down here is the evil side where you kind of have those like darker smokier colors and then all of these are by the brand elf the next one I have is this jasmine one and this is a whole new world beauty book and then when you open this one up, it looks like this. So in this particular one, you do have some eyeshadow shades and then some uh, like bronzers and blushes down here. Um, this one, you do get some little brushes. This also comes with a lip color and then an eyeliner as well. Mirror over here. Oh, and I totally forgot. I haven't been showing you guys. On the mirror side, you can actually open it up and... Um, it gives you some like more information, kind of like tips and tricks on how to apply some of the eyeshadow colors, like what colors to put on your lids and the crease and things like that, which is really cool. So this is from the um, Sleeping Beauty one. And then here is what the Jasmine one looks like. All right, and then these, the other three that I have are all from like a Disney Villains collection. So this first one right here is obviously Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty and this is called the Sinister Smoky Eyes. And so when you open this one up, here is what it looks like. Again, you have a mirror on this side. Um, I have had these for years and have used them for so many years, so there's probably some things that are going to be missing. Like, for example, this one does come with lashes, but the lashes are missing because I definitely wore those out. And they were just disgusting, so I ended up just throwing those out, but it does come with lashes, some eyelash glue. Um, here you have some eyeshadows. Um, this comes with a eye primer and then some lip liners or lip pencils. And then here's like the little like tips and tricks pages. And then you have like this little like plastic piece that uh, flips. So depending on what kind of look you want. So if you want a more natural look, you go with that side. And then if you want a more dramatic look, you go with that side, which is really cool. The next uh, villains one I have is Cruella. And I think out of all three, this was definitely my favorite. So this is the Evil Everyday Eyes. And then real quick, same layout. So this one comes with lashes. They're right there, but they're a mess. I'm honestly surprised I kept them. And then here is what 
um, these pages look like right here. A more natural side and then a more dark and smoky side right there. I think I just liked this palette so much because it came with like more neutral, natural eyeshadows. I loved just like pairing those eyeshadow shades with the like red lip liner. And then the last e.l.f. Villains beauty book that I have and the last palette that's just in like my collections pile. This one right here. So this is obviously the Evil Queen from Snow White. And this is the Devious Dramatic Eyes palette or beauty book. And this one has the same layout. Oh, this one also comes with a liquid eyeliner as well. Same layout over here, more natural side more dramatic side. Now I'm going to move on to all of the other eyeshadow palettes that I have that are not expired and I still use every so often. So again, I'm just going to show them in no particular order. Here are some of the palettes that I have right here. So real quick on top, I have this little single eyeshadow from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I recently did a get ready with me using this eyeshadow. So definitely make sure to go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. And this eyeshadow is from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Shane Dawson collaboration. I'm not going to go into the whole story because I feel like I've definitely talked about it before and I definitely touched on it in the get ready with me that I filmed for this eyeshadow. This is like an emerald green eyeshadow and it is so gorgeous. And my sister was nice enough to get it for me because this was the one shade from their collaboration that I was obsessed with. So this is just a quick little single that I have. The next little palette that I have is another MAC Cosmetics one, another Disney little palette. And this is from their Aladdin collection that they came out with when the like newer people version of Aladdin came out. Was that last year? I'm pretty sure. So that's what this little like quad little palette looks like. Not really a quad because it comes with nine shades of eyeshadows, but just these like squared palettes. I call them quads. But yeah, I absolutely love this palette. It's gorgeous. Again, you definitely get a nice mixture of those like nude natural shades. Some mattes in there. Majority of them are shimmery, but they're still beautiful eyeshadows. And I actually reach for this palette quite often. The next little like mini type palettes that I have to show you guys are both from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'll start with this one first. So this is the mini breaker eyeshadow palette. Um, from when Jeffree Star came out with like his whole Jawbreaker line. So he obviously came out with a bigger Jawbreaker palette, which I'll show you guys in just a little bit. And then he also came out with a mini version. I think this is the first collection where he debuted a mini palette. So here is just what this palette looks like right here. Definitely a very colorful palette. That's kind of the whole like theme, I believe, from the Jawbreaker collection. So again, I don't really reach for this palette as much. I honestly probably wouldn't even have bought it, but I actually got this in one of my mystery boxes, which those mystery boxes unboxing should be under my everything makeup and beauty playlist as well. If you want to go ahead and check those out, I think I've gotten a few. And yeah, so I believe I got this one from the Halloween one, which that one actually might be on my sister's channel. So I'll just link that one down below. And the next mini palette is this one right here. And this is the mini controversy palette. Again, another product from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and the Shane Dawson collaboration that they did. So here's what this palette looks like right here. You open it up and that's what this one looks like. Very pretty palette. Um, if I had to compare it to their bigger palette that they collabed on, the Conspiracy palette, I definitely prefer the Conspiracy palette over this one just because the whole, I mean, it's kind of hard because you get nine shades in here and then you get 18 in the bigger one. So you obviously have more variety to pick from from the bigger one, which I like better, but just kind of like the overall layout and color choices in this palette, I'm just not really as drawn to. Um, this is another palette that like, you know, it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They're, it's great quality pigmented, all that jazz. But yeah, so I don't really reach for this one that often. But yeah, I was so excited about that collaboration. So I literally had to buy everything except like the clothing items and the mirror. I didn't get the mirror either. But like the makeup bag, all the liquid lips, things like that. The next palette I have to show you guys is this one right here. And this is the Blue Blood palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm just letting you guys know. Basically, the rest of this video is all going to be Jeffree Star Cosmetics, so just word of warning. And here is what this palette looks like right here. Oh my gosh, such a gorgeous palette. But as you can tell, I mean, obviously the name is Blue Blood, so 
that makes you think like, oh, it's going to be like a blue collection. So if you could have guessed, um, that's why I don't really reach for this palette that often as much either, just because I don't really wear, very, very rarely do I wear eyeshadows nowadays anymore. I just feel like I'm too lazy and don't got the time for that. But it's like when I do wear eyeshadows, m most of the time it's like more nude natural shades I'm going for. Obviously, I didn't do that today because I have a pretty, like, dark, smoky eye going on, which I did film and get ready with me on this look, so make sure to watch out for that. But yeah, anyways, I just, I love this palette. Just, like, the overall look of it, I just thought it was so beautiful. I think this is the first palette that I actually bought from Jeffree Star. I'm pretty sure this palette launched, I think it was March 29th and my birthday's March 30th. So I'm pretty sure I bought this palette for myself as a birthday present. And I'm pretty sure this is the first palette that I bought. Fun fact. The next palette I have to show you guys is this one right here, which is the Blood Sugar palette. Kind of like an older sister to the Blue Blood palette. This is a collection that he came out with first. And here is what this palette looks like right here. This one I was super excited about. And I'm trying to remember if my sister bought this for me. Or if I ended up buying this for myself later. But either way, I wanted this palette so bad just because I'm a nurse. And just being in the healthcare field, I was just very, like, drawn to this palette. Like, I thought it was just, like, perfect because it's very centered around, like, not necessarily centered around healthcare. But just, like, centered around, like, things related to that. Like, I feel like you can even see, like, some of the packaging that went into it. Like, these, like, little crosses up here that are usually associated with, like, hospitals and things like that. And then just some of the names in here, like, O positive for blood, intravenous, glucose, prick. And like the little like syringe stenciling in this eyeshadow down here. Just like, so yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of what like this palette reminded me of. And this was like the first palette that he came out with with this like more unique packaging. Like this faux leather, very like boxy briefcase type packaging. Even with like the little buckles in the front. So yeah, this is, this is another palette. I don't reach for it as often just because it's like more centered around like more like reds and pinks and things like that. But definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. All right, now let's move on to these palettes right here. The first one on top is the Conspiracy palette, which I kind of already touched on. Very similar packaging to like Blue Blood and Blood Sugar, but it kind of has like a more like pyramid top, as you can see, which is very fitting for the whole conspiracy theme that they got going on. So yeah, you definitely have some more like daring out their eyeshadows in here, but I do like this palette because I feel like a majority of them are more on like the natural side, I would say. And I feel like this is one of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes that I do reach for quite often. The next palette that I have to show you guys is this one from Morphe. I don't know what the name of this palette is. Oh, just kidding. There's a little like sticker down here. It says 35W Warm It Up. Here is what this palette looks like right here. So very drawn to this palette because again, I'm more drawn to like neutral, nude, natural eyeshadows. So that's basically what this palette is all about. Uh, I feel like I don't really reach for this palette that often though. I don't know. I guess I just, I don't, I wouldn't say I don't like the formula of her. I don't think the eyeshadows are like bad quality, but I just don't think they're the best. Like compared to like some of my Jeffree Star eyeshadows and palettes that I have from him, like his formula is like top notch, pigmented, buttery, easy to blend, so easy to work with. And like, I'm not saying these aren't, but I would just say like compared to Jeffree Star or compared to other brands, there are other brands that like beat out Morphe in this palette. I hope that makes sense. And then I have four more palettes. They are all from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'll just point that out now because I feel like I've said Jeffree Star Cosmetics five million times in this video. Don't play a drinking game with it. You will die. So this first one right here is the OG, the first palette that he has came out with, which is the Beauty Killer palette. All right, I'll give it away. This is the palette that I used for today's look and it was my first time using it. So yeah, so that's what this palette looks like right here. And then here are all of the shades that come in this palette. I absolutely love this palette because not that it's like ugly or bad quality or anything like that, but like you can so tell this is the first palette he came out with. Like just looking at some of his newer palettes, like he's just come such a long way with his like packaging and with his themes. And obviously his palettes nowadays come with way more eyeshadows. 
even though, like I said, the, I've used this palette only once for today's look, which is gorgeous. Like, I love how these eyeshadows perform in true Jeffree Star fashion, but I don't know how much I will reach for this palette just because, again, it has some colors in here that I wouldn't necessarily reach for on an everyday basis and doesn't really have a lot of, I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of eyeshadow options in here in general, but it doesn't have any really like neutral natural shades except you know Courtney up here. So the next palette is this one right here and this is the Androgyny palette which is the second eyeshadow palette he came out with if I'm not mistaken. So it kind of has a very similar layout to Beauty Killer. So here is what the packaging of this one looks like. It's hot pink and it has like a faux snakeskin material on there. And then to open this up this is what this palette looks like right here which looks gorgeous. The next palette is this one right here. This is the Thirsty palette from I believe just the Thirsty collection. This was one of the like summer collections that he came out with. I don't remember which summer it was. I think it was at least a few years ago. So you kind of have like this whole like obstacle theme which is really cute. Here's what this palette looks like right here. I've used it once for when I filmed the Get Ready With Me using this palette and and I'm pretty sure I just mainly used like the natural shades in here. So I'm going to have to definitely take the time to dip into some of like the more colorful shades in this palette and even the shimmery like um, sparkly ones. I've heard great things about these. So I'll definitely have to try those out because I don't, oh I might have tried Divine because that looks like it's been dipped into. And the next palette, the Jawbreaker palette, which I kind of already touched on a little bit. I showed you the mini breaker. Definitely one of or maybe the most colorful collection that he has come out with. And yeah, I don't really remember why he discontinued this palette. Maybe kind of similar to the Thirsty one, it just didn't do as well maybe? I honestly don't remember, but I do remember my sister ended up buying this when it came out and I was with her when she unboxed it. I think we filmed a video on it actually on her channel. And I just remember being so jealous and so mad that I didn't get this palette when it launched. So I'm so happy that I have it now. Like it's just so beautiful. Like the packaging of it and like the colors in here. Obviously not really my cup of tea with all the different colors and neons and but it's just so gorgeous. It just goes with the overall jawbreaker theme so well. I think that's why I love it so much and it's just gorgeous. And like I just needed it in my collection. I haven't used this palette yet. So you can obviously expect a video on this in the future. Alright, we are almost done with this collections video. I have four more palettes to show you guys. So the first one at random is this one right here. This is from BH Cosmetics and it's actually the only BH Cosmetics palette that I have. Which is so weird because I have been obsessed with BH Cosmetics forever. Anyways, this is the Nude Rose Nightfall 12 color eyeshadow palette. Comes in like this like tin packaging. And then here is what this palette looks like right here. So as you can tell by the name, kind of a more nude, natural, nice smoky basic palette. You do have some pops of color in there like the purple and blue. Uh, but those colors actually aren't the best quality. I definitely reach for our colors in this top row if you can kind of see um, from some of those that are very dipped into and I reached pan on a, one of them. I definitely reach for those a lot more. I just find that those are a lot better quality compared to like the colored ones in here. But um, yeah, it's not like the best eyeshadow palette that I've ever used from BH Cosmetics before, but it's not bad. It's pretty good quality and it's just kind of like the perfect palette that I reach for every so often when I just want like a more natural eye look. Um, this is just a really easy palette to reach for. All right, and the last re three remaining palettes that I have to show you guys are all from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Remember what I said about the drinking game. So the next palette I have to show you guys is this one right here. And this, it's so hard to say, but I honestly want to say that this is probably my favorite palette out of all of the palettes that I have in my collection. And if you have to ask why, like, what do you mean? Like, look at it. Look at it. Like, this is... Oh, it is beautiful. When he first came out with this collection and he showed this in his video, my jaw dropped. Like, literally dropped. Like, you know, people say that as like a figurative speech or figure of speech. I swear English is my first language. But like, no, like mine actually did. When I saw this, I was like, oh, like, it's so beautiful like not only like the shape of it how unique that is alone but like it's all in this like 
deep purple velvet and you have like the obviously the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo with like a crown. And this is the Bloodlust, yes the Bloodlust palette collection whatever you want to call it and like oh my god it's so beautiful. Obviously the shape makes it this a pain in the ass to store. It's really hard to like get it to fit in like my makeup drawer. So you open it up like this, it has like a little gold ball down here that like claps together so you just kind of lift that up to open it up. And here is what this palette looks like. So as you can kind of tell from like the packaging, it's a very like purpley pink themed palette. So yeah, I don't reach for this palette that often, which is kind of crazy that this would be my favorite palette and I like hardly use it. But like, it's just the packaging alone is just, it it wins above all other, even if I had a palette in here I used on a daily basis, this would still beat it because I've never seen anything like this and like, I didn't even care how much it was. I knew I was getting it just because I needed this in my collection. All right, and the two remaining palettes are from Jeffree Star's newest collection. So real quick, I'll just show you them both right here. So you have the cremated palette, which came out first, and then his most recent collection is the Orgy one. So here is what the cremated one looks like right here. It's just what the back of it looks like. And then to open it up, here is what this palette looks like. I still have the plastic over it, so I apologize, I'll try to angle it so you can see it a little bit better, but I'm very drawn to this palette because it is more on the neutral side, but at the same time, it's really unique because it's not like your usual like brown, tan, black, brown shades that you usually get in like more neutral palettes, but it's very like cool toned with the grays and I don't know, I just feel like I'm really gonna like this palette and get a lot of uses out of it once I do start using it. Alrighty, and last but not least, like I said, is the Orgy palette, and this is a huge palette. Oh shoot, I forgot to check, but I'm pretty sure the cremated palette also is on the bigger side, or it comes in like, it comes with more eyeshadows than like his usual like 18 shades. Alrighty, and here is what this palette looks like, and yeah, you know I'm gonna love this palette as well because like I've said a million times in this video, I just, I, I'm just, I just love my natural nude eyeshadow shades. Like they're just my fave. And yeah, so that is the last eyeshadow palette that I have to show you guys. And that is everything that I have in my eyeshadow palette collection. So yeah, that's all that I have for you guys in today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And definitely I wanna hear from you guys. What is your all-time favorite eyeshadow palette? Whether you have it in your collection or what is an eyeshadow palette you have always wanted but have yet to get your hands on? I would love to hear from you guys. Definitely make sure to leave your responses down in the comments. If you do want a more like overall broad view of all of the makeup that I have in my makeup collection, I can definitely film an updated video on that for you guys. And I'm gonna get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.